What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at it again with our 2-in-1 AEW Unravel Collection Series number 8 reviews on the best friends, Chuck Taylor and Trent. In yesterday's video, apparently a lot of people were saying that my energy didn't seem the same, and I do apologize for that. I'm also just noticing that the Chuck on his name tag is pink right there, and it's yellow here. He's not even wearing the right gear either. We're getting scammed. Nonetheless, man, I did want to take a chance to apologize for the energy yesterday. I don't know what the deal was. Was, but I do want to apologize, man, because when you come to the channel, I want you to have the best experience possible. But today we got Chuck Taylor and Trent, two figures I'm excited for. I think they're two of probably the most exciting figures, this and Statlander probably, in the entire set. But here's your front viewing window. If you guys would like to grab these figures already, you like what you see, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Select Priority Shipping. Don't use code free ship. Use Priority. Use code MDTOYS, and you'll get really fast shipping, almost free, depending on how much money you spend over there. But here's Chuck Taylor and Trent. You got their names on the side. I love the way Trent's name is on the packaging. On the back, you've got some image shots of them. you got the rest of the figures in the wave. We've already reviewed Jericho and Mox. If you guys missed that review from yesterday, you can go watch that, or you can go watch our Series 1 and 2 reviews of those characters, or our Series 5 Mox, or our Series 6 Jericho, and it'll be relatively the same. I'm just kidding. That's just a small dig. Got AEW logos on the side, and you got all the good stuff going on, man. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and crack these guys out of the packaging and find out what Trent and Chuck Taylor are all about out. So here are the best friends out of the packaging. We have Trent and Chuck Taylor both spinning round and round, flexing their muscles, man. I mean, that's what they're all about, right? They're looking pretty good right now. I like what we got going on. We're going to dive into all the details, man. Since they are a tag team, we're going to dive into their accessories first as a team, and then we're going to look at themselves as a team. You know, they got the matching gear and colors and stuff going on. So we're going to dive into these guys, see what they're all about, and how they compare to the rest of our tag team division in our AEW figure collections. All right, guys, so for their accessories, I mean, would it be an AEW unrivaled figure? without the classic rubber accessories. Brad, each one of them, Chuck Taylor, Trent, both have their rubber accessories. We could start off with Chuck here. Yeah, I mean, you got your classic kind of edge WrestleMania style going on here with the working man shirt sleeveless. On the back, got nothing going on. You got, I mean, it is a soft rubber. But it does have the nice pocket sculpted on there. It does say Chuck on there, which is kind of cool. You got the flappage. You know, you got everything going on with it. But it's easily accessible, all those different things. And then you get into Trent's accessory, which is basically the exact same thing, except it has sleeves on it. And it has a nice stripe. And it actually has the question mark on the back, which is more than to say about the Chuck. Now, it is accurate. I've seen the jacket. It is accurate. I like what we got it going on. You got Trent down there. The stripe's going on. Again, very flimsy. But it gets the job done as far as, you know, a rubber jacket. You're not going to be able to pose them around, which is unfortunate. But, yeah, man, I'd like to just see more cloth from AEW, man. Got to get more cloth accessories for our figures. But no interchangeable hands, no interchangeable heads, no nothing like that, man. We are just stuck with these two rubber accessories for both of these guys. Got the uh, old freaking, they, get, they got the dead gum SCU treatment in this series. All right, guys, so getting into Trent's head sculpt starting out at the top. I've heard people say this doesn't look like Trent, and I'm here to tell you that you're wrong wrong brad that's absolutely wrong i think and you know i mean is it just uncanny just perfection head sculpt i don't think so but it's it's pretty damn good i like it of course this isn't his hairstyle anymore but when he was rocking the flow with the headband i think it looks like him you know i'd like to see a little bit better texturing in the beard as far as like the paint apps like a more realistic looking beard not just so flat straight you know however i still like it you know i think the head sculpt's nice apparently this is a new torso he's got some freaking triple h 2002 vibes with his jacked ass chest just wider than the freaking ocean over here with his man titties going on, but he looks all right, you know? I, I think I would have preferred a Young Buck slash Kenny Omega torso. Maybe we can take a look at that here in this video when we get to the comparison shot, but it's not horrific. You know, I like it. I think it's missing chest and stomach hair. I think that would have made it stand out, kind of like Seth Rollins, you know? I think that would have made it stand out, but you do get the nice wristbands with the with the stuff on it. You get the elbow pad. Going down into the tights, I do believe this is uh, Cody Rhodes crotch and legs, and they just have a different boot mold, but they're, they're kind of plain Jane, you know? They have, like, instead of the dark gray attire they went with the black with the navy and the green and the portals and the rick and morty-esque or the time travel style deal here i don't know who this is supposed to be i think it's supposed to be albert einstein or something i can't remember exactly who it's supposed to be it looks like freaking carl off of aqua teen hunger force is who it looks like to me so that's what we got going on over there you do get your portals over here you get your portals on the knee and you get the beautiful dolph ziggler style boots man how freaking beautiful is that and it's one of one mold this is actually newly sculpted which i 
I absolutely love. These are my favorite boots in the game that any wrestler can wear. My One of my favorites, Ziggler wears them, and Trent is another guy that wears them. And here is the Mattel comparison. And you guys can see that Mattel just went ahead and just painted it on there and kept the same Ziggler boots and just put the lines on there. But, you know, Jazzwares went the extra step and sculpted it on there. You know, HBK used to wear these. Edge has worn these in the past. And so it's pretty cool to see here in, you know, it actually being sculpted on there. I have some Zigglers that have the, the flaps sculpted on there because I love the boots. So I'm a sneakerhead, so I love shoes and, and boots designs and stuff. If you guys want to see my favorite boots in wrestling history, let me know if you want to see that in a video. But I like the Trent figure, man. I think Bretto Live, I'm calling out Bretto Live right here. He said that this is his least fig favorite figure in the set. I don't know what he's on. I don't know what Bretto Live's on. Don't know what he's on over there, man. But I, I'm feeling this Trent figure. But let's dive into Chuck Taylor. So for Chuck Taylor, man, starting out with this head sculpt, I don't know what's going on. It looks like I got some bleeding or something going on here. I don't think that's supposed to be there right there, that little bleed there, and then in the forehead and stuff. I'm going to investigate that, but it's a very awkward looking uh, head sculpt. You know, it just looks a bit odd. It looks jacksy. It looks kind of figures toy company-esque. I like this side of the hair better. It looks a lot more put together and sculpt and stuff. The beard's a bit patchy, which is pretty accurate, to be honest with you. However, uh, this torso is kind of wacky. You know, he's got a little pot belly going on. You don't get a lot of waist swivel here, which is unfortunate, and the ab crunch is not near as good as ab crunches are for other figures. And I guess it's because you have the pot belly going on, but you do get like the Bret Hart slash Kenny Omega open elbow pads going on, which I like. You got white wrist tape. You do have a, a sculpted belt on here, which is nice. You get Kentucky Gentleman on the butt. You got that navy and green color kind of going on, or like it's kind of like, it looks yellow, but if you look closer, it is kind of like a volt green look. Same as Trent. You do have the nice kick pads going on there with the flaps over the top, knee pads, solid black. You do get a kick pad rotation, which is super nice. But if you guys wanted to see these guys' articulation real quick, I mean, this figure's not like horrific in any stretch. Get out of here, Orange Cassidy. Get out of here, Ziggler. But I mean, you get some pretty good range of motion in the head. You do get, you know, your double jointed arms and all your stuff going on. You do not get, you can do the top part of the torso, but you cannot do the bottom part. Uh, the ab crunch is kind of non-existent, which is surprising. You do get a decent little split there, upper thigh cut. You get the double jointed knee, which is nice. I mean, it, it moves around pretty well. I like this Chuck Taylor, you know? It's, it's, the head sculpt's not the best, but I do like the way he moves around and stuff like that, which is always a plus. So, elbow pads are kind of, you know, non-existent. They slide right off, but uh, I like the Chuck Taylor a lot. And if you guys wanted to see how the Trent poses around, head sculpt, you can look down a lot, but not up because of the hair. You do have like a cronk style hair kind of going on. This ab crunch is a little better, I would say, or it, it, it's a lot better probably than Chuck Taylor, but it does want to pop off. You get a little diaphragm movement there. You get way better, I'd say waist rotation. You get the full 360 here. The elbow will bend a little bit here, but not much. You know, you could just remove the elbow pads there. You get the split C's upper thigh cut, double jointed knee is very nice. Boot rotation, great ankle rocker on the Trent figure. The Trent feels really good in hand. I actually enjoy it a lot. I just think that it needed a different torso, which we will take a look at when we get to the comparison shot of the video right now. Alright guys, I don't remember how tall Trent was, but is he supposed to be this much taller than Kenny Omega? I don't know if that's the case here, but let's go ahead and just attempt this little torso swap right here, which I think could do wonders for the figure here. Um, there's Kenny Omega in that gear, which is kind of cool. But if you pop the head off here, and then you pop this head off, and then you plop this head onto this body. Okay, so it gives him a giraffe neck. This is why. Now it makes sense why they gave him this torso. He kind of has a giraffe neck and a bobble head. So, damn. But doesn't that look way more like that? That looks way more accurate to me than this gigantic torso that they gave him. But is there a way I could maybe... I may be able to drill into that head a little bit. But I just think this looks way more natural to me than the uh, ginormous, like, chest torso torso that they just gave him right here. You guys can let me know down in the comment section below. I, I really don't even know who this looks good for, but it ain't Trent, I can tell you that. Or at least in my opinion it's not Trent. It doesn't even have chest hair or nothing. I mean, it doesn't look horrible, but yeah, I think this torso suits it way better. How unfortunate. But I think that pretty much wraps up our two-in-one review of Trent and Chuck Taylor, man, had a lot of fun reviewing these guys. I actually like this. I've always loved them as a tag team. I like them as individual talents here. You know, I think they fit perfectly in AEW. I like everything going on. I like their figures. You know, I like the Chuck Taylor a lot more than I thought I would. Do have a little bleeding on the head, you know, a little bit awkward with some of the stuff going on. But overall, I enjoy the figures. I think that these guys are going to do well in our ranking. We'll have to see when it comes time to rank the set. However, I like both of them. I think they're worth the pickup. If you guys would like to grab them, use code MDTOYS at 
ringsidecollectibles.com. Use promo code MDTOYS. Use priority shipping. Do not use code free ship. I promise to God you don't want to do that, man. I'm telling you right now. But at the end of the day, I enjoy these figures a lot. And I think you guys will also enjoy these figures. So definitely go grab them. But, you know, they're a nice addition to the tag team section. I know that Chuck Taylor's head sculpt's not the best and Trent's a little outdated. But I think they're worth the pickup. I think they really are. I think you guys will enjoy these figures. And, you know, they look cool over here at hugging. You know, you could hug them on the shelf over there. Not the best posing there. You know, I didn't take like a million minutes on it. And sometimes the AEW figures, while they're very poseable at the same time, sometimes the, the, the joints, they, uh, it's, it's kind of hard to get them in a certain position because they'll go back in place, kind of, if that makes any sense. But thank you guys for watching. That is going to wrap up the two-in-one review. I appreciate the figures a lot. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and leave me a like because these reviews take a lot of time. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on My Damn Toys. And don't cross the line like the no chest hair on Trent or Trent.